The Better Business Bureau has released its list of the top 10 scams of the year. Mostly, it makes you never want to pick up the phone again. It's easier than ever for con artists to manipulate caller ID, making several scam calls seem more legit. In the arrest warrant scam, callers would pose as local law enforcement and claim there's a warrant out for your arrest. However, if you just pay a fine, you could avoid all the criminal charges. Don't be fooled, the only criminal is the scammer on the other end of the line. Medical alert services like the good old I've fallen and I can't get up! can call for help when a senior needs it most. But scammers have been calling seniors, offering free alert services, claiming a friend or relative has already paid the bill. All we need is your bank and credit card information to verify your identity. Scammers don't care if you're registered for the do not call list. As a matter of fact, one of the most popular scams involves the do not call list. Scammers call, posing as government officials, asking you to confirm your list registration with a bunch of personal info. Another type of call made the top 10, casting call scams prey on the thousands of people who dream of appearing on shows like American Idol. Scammers will use phony auditions to sell acting lessons, photo shoots, or will attempt to charge people to try out for roles that don't really exist. There are some classics on the list, offers of too good to be true foreign currency investments, eBay buyers who never deliver payment, contractors who perform shoddy work, Fake Facebook profiles are often used to extract personal information, as is smishing, scam text phishing. These texts look official, asking you to confirm information or reactivate a bank card by providing personal information. Do not do that. Finally, the scam of the year was the Affordable Care Act scam. The new program is still kind of confusing for most Americans, and scammers have seized on that opportunity to convince people to hand over all their personal info. Scammers have certainly gotten more sophisticated, but a little common sense goes a long way. Don't give out information to anyone unless you are absolutely sure they're legit. That Nigerian construction reality show your Facebook friend told you about that pays in rubles? Probably a scam.